Morning, Pete, North Las Vegas. Um, I did a video a couple days ago on some thermostat housings. One that I got with the JEGS brand name, which was made in Taiwan. and had a lot of casting flaws, and it was just, I mean, there's no other way to say it. It was a piece of shit. So then I went and ordered a uh, weigh-in to YM um, from Summit Racing. And it was made in China, and it turned out to be a piece of crap for kind of similar reasons. Anyway, um, I found this company here, Eddie Marine. They're out of California. And they make their thermostat housings from a billet. And this is machined. It's not cast. So all this is machined. This is really heavy. This thing weighs a good pound and a half. Um... The finish on it is flawless. This is 80 degrees instead of 90, which works out better for what I'm trying to do because my hose comes in at just a very slight angle. Um, they package this thing really well. I mean, it came just super wrapped up. And then it came in its own separate packaging. Um, it wasn't cheap, but... It's made in America, and it's a quality piece. So, just on out-of-box uh, inspection here, this thing is super thick. It's just, it's a quality piece. So anyway, we're going to get it on the car and uh, see what it looks like. I don't expect any problems. Okay, so I already covered this in another video. That's the... The stock thermostat housing that came with this uh, crate motor from GM. And even though I'm using a GM serpentine uh, belt kit, I ran into some clearance issues um, using the uh, using the OEM style hose. Um, I, I ran into clearance problems with this alternator, and I, I could have made this work, but it would have been very close to the alternator. I had to rig up some type of saddle or some type of shield or mount. And I just decided not to go that route. So what I discovered was this Gates part number here. Like I said, I've already covered this. But uh, this Gates hose, molded hose, is going to work out a lot better with the uh, swivel that I just bought. So anyway, like I said, we'll get all this stuff on and uh, maybe talk a little bit more about it and after this, this radiator will finally be 100% installed. Okay, I don't know how well the camera is going to pick it up, but I just discovered a uh, pretty significant raised burr on this uh, manifold casting back here. And I mean, it's sticking up quite a bit. So I'm going to uh, have to take a file and knock that down before I mount the new thermostat housing on there. Ah, man, doesn't anybody do anything right anymore? It's a brand new ZZ4 GM motor. That thing was sticking up a lot too. It wasn't just a little bit. Anyway, I just about got it knocked down flush. So. <laughs> Sometimes all you can do is just laugh about this. Okay, so I got rid of the raised lip back here, got that filed down, and I took some sandpaper to it and smoothed it out really nice. I'm getting ready to install um, stainless, so stainless going into aluminum. Um, so we're going to put some copper anti-seize on the threads. Um, I, I go through a lot of trouble to explain all this. I know that certain forms, they're, they're car-oriented. I, I know I'm just I'm preaching to the choir. But sometimes I, I post these videos to other places where maybe people are still interested in what I'm doing, but um, they, they don't realize all the little details that need to be done. So anyway, we're going to get some copper anti-seize on these. I like to use this stuff to uh, dress up O-rings and gaskets. And uh, I don't know, probably most of you are familiar with this too. So we'll get the O-ring into the channel with some Hylomar. And get this located in the right spot. We'll get the hose on. And in the next clip, it's all going to be done. 
Okay, so it's installed. Uh, everything went smoothly. Everything fit really nice. Real close tolerance. Um, I think I mentioned it earlier in the video. This is not a true 90 degree. It's 80 degrees. And that worked out better for me for, for what I was trying to do here. It allowed the hose to just kind of go in at just the right angle so I didn't have to force anything or, or twist or do a bunch of uh, tension adjustments. It just, it just fell right into place. Um, in addition to the... Uh, the Eddie Marine um, thermostat housing, and I'm not affiliated with Eddie Marine. I just I just bought their thermostat housing. But anyway, um, I also wanted to mention that I used um, embossed radiator clamps, and on embossed they don't cut the notches all the way through so that it digs into the hose. They're mainly designed for uh, silicone hoses because the outer uh, silicone is, is a lot softer than this rubber stuff. But I decided to go ahead and, and go with the embossed uh, clamps. They, I think they look a little nicer. And like I said, there's, there's no danger of them digging in at all to this hard rubber. Okay, so just to recap what I've done here, this is a B Cool radiator, uh, their so-called direct fit. And it was pretty close. It just needed some minor tweaking. Mostly the issue I had was trying to find uh, cushions that would fit. But anyway, here's the hose I use. It's a Gates 20869. And that's a molded hose and it, it fit perfect. Now you'll notice that the angle of the spout is not facing perfectly forward. I had to uh, swivel it just a little bit to get this hose to fit just right. Um, I have plenty of clearance now, plenty of space. Even if this belt starts to ride up uh, a couple inches when I get my foot in the gas, it, it shouldn't, hit the, shouldn't hit the radiator hose. And then uh, for the bottom hose, I just used a standard uh, GM part number hose for this year Camaro. And that fit like a glove, no issues at all. And the other thing I thought I mentioned on the radiator was um, Be Cool provided these uh, 5 16 uh, inverted flare fittings, but they were not MPT, they were not pipe thread, they were just straight cut threads. So, not that that really matters unless you're going to swap these out with something. But also, this is not just a, a, an MPT cap. This is an inverted flare cap. So, this cap was designed to ride on top of the, the flare inside the fitting. And, I mean, there's, there's nothing here to leak. I mean, unless the, uh, the cooling tank inside has got an issue. But, um... So I think that's about it. Anyway, it's it's finally in 100%. All I got to do is uh, get a few more odds and ends done in the engine compartment, and then I can start wiring this thing up. And then once I get it wired up, we'll we'll fire it up, and uh, maybe get it on a trailer, get it out for paint here in a not too distant future. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm happy with how this this all ended up. All right, Pete, North Las Vegas, over and out.